Hello everyone, my name is Jason and welcome to this English video lesson brought to you by MainStreetEnglish.com. What is an eponym? Well, an eponym is a word that comes from a person's name. Pretty cool, right? You probably use eponyms in everyday life and don't even realize it. In this video, we're going to talk about five common English eponyms and use them in some sentences. Are you ready? Let's go. Eponym number one, sandwich. Bread and meat have been a classic combination for centuries. But where did this combination come from? John Montague, the 18th century British politician, may not have been the first person to put meat between two slices of bread, but he is credited with helping to popularize the sandwich in London. It is believed that Montague, whose official title was the Earl of Sandwich, may have seen meat put between slices of bread while traveling in the Ottoman Empire. When he returned to London, he is said to have asked for the same food to be made and it soon became popular. The sandwich was named after him. Let's make some sentences using the word sandwich. What do you want on your sandwich? Can I make you a sandwich before you go back to work? He took a bite from his sandwich before running out the door. Eponym number two, diesel. Eponyms are also common in science. For example, diesel fuel was named after German-French engineer Rudolf Diesel, the inventor of the type of engine that used it. You can use the eponym diesel in sentences like these. The price of a diesel vehicle can be an issue to potential buyers. The slippery roads caused the tanker to crash, spilling diesel all over the highway. Nearly all the tractors operate on diesel oil. Eponym number three, nicotine. Nicotine the chemical that gives tobacco its addictive properties was named after Jean Nicot, a French ambassador to Portugal, who sent tobacco seeds and leaves from the Portuguese colony in Brazil to France in 1561. How can you use nicotine in a sentence? The nicotine patches are designed to help people give up smoking. His teeth were stained with nicotine from years of smoking. Nicotine, the drug found in tobacco, is a stimulant. Eponym number four, sideburns. Sideburns used to be called burn sides. That name comes from General Ambrose Burnside, a 19th century entrepreneur and politician known for his prodigious facial hair, which went from the sides of his face and connected to a large mustache with no hair on his chin. Let's use sideburns in some sentences. Please cut my hair short, but don't touch my sideburns. 
I'm trying to grow them out. He had thick black eyebrows, dark brown eyes, whitening sideburns, and a pencil-thin mustache. Having very long sideburns was a fad of the 1990s. Eponym number five, boycott. Boycotts are a widespread form of protest around the world. It comes from how a group of farmers in Ireland decided to deal with Captain Charles C. Boycott. Boycott oversaw property in Ireland. Boycott tried to evict 11 farmers who could not pay rent because of a bad harvest. Some people in the community protested by refusing to do business with him. Nobody would work for him and all the local shops wouldn't sell to him, making him the first person to be boycotted. Boycott is a very common English word. Let's practice using it. They all swore to boycott all products that are tested on animals. Opposition political groups declared a boycott of the elections. The U.S. has imposed a boycott on some European goods. Do you have any questions about the eponyms used in this video? Leave a comment and let's chat. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe for more free English video lessons. I'm Jason from MainStreetEnglish.com. See you again.